you know, as you come back home, what are your voters saying right now about what they've seen from Trump so far? People are scared. You know, in the black community, you can tell people are afraid because the churches are filled. Yeah. I've told them this. You guys have had a kind of a funny, he's, he's singled you out. Because I give him the unvarnished truth. I mean, I just give it straight up. For example, when I met with him several weeks ago, I said, now, Mr. President, you need to really stop going around talking about voter fraud. I said, you know that stuff ain't going on. Come on now. For you to talk about voter fraud when we got people who cannot even vote. I said it is insulting to me as a black man uh, whose mother and father saw people harmed trying to vote in South Carolina years ago. We had a, a number of discussions like that. So you guys are going to become buddies. Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I want to work on the things that we have in common. And if we can get something done, I want to get them done. You got Trump just in the last 24 hours, right, abandoning a bunch of his campaign pledges, taking a new position. So when you see that, you think what? You think that's real? You think that's I think healthy? some of it's real. What really made me feel that some of it is real is this whole discussion about Bannon. In my district, people don't know whether the president is Bannon or Trump. Right. But they know who Bannon is. Oh, they know who Bannon is. Really? They know the folks like David Duke and the white supremacists right. and Breitbart Lover. So with the possibility that Bannon could be on his way out or at least having his influence diminished. It's very significant. Him. Yeah. Because Trump, it is not his authentic self. He knows it. Yeah. I think he knows it. When he talked about seeing the Syrian babies killed a few days ago, I saw a glimpse of who I, who I think is the authentic guy. Right. But I don't know. None of us know. I can't imagine, you know, what it must be like to be particularly a person of color. I, I would just be befuddled that the first African-American president could be followed by Trump. I don't understand how those two Americas coexist in sequence. As an African-American who is a student of politics, trying to come up with the answer is painful. To see this as I walk towards the evening of my life, um, it makes me want to work night and day for the rest of my life to try to make sure that um, we make the best of the situation. This is bigger than Trump. This is about the soul of our democracy.